What is going on, everybody? This is Brandon Peterson back again for another Code Peterson tutorial, and we are making another GB Studios game. In our previous set of tutorials, we made a platformer game. In this one, uh, there's been some requests to try to put together a game that is like a top-down adventure, kind of in the spirit of the old Zelda for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm going to start this series of tutorials just like I did with the last series, uh, kind of showing you what I'm going to use, and we'll kind of spend this one to talk a little bit about some of the image sprites we're doing, because as we know with GB Studios, it's easier to get going if you have that sprite work done first. So to begin with, uh, the sites that are most useful, or the site that's most useful is GB Studio. Uh, they have their own web page, but if you find or just do a, a Google search for GB Studio sprites. You can find the page where they talk about the image sizes. So our image sprites uh, for our characters and our enemies and our power-ups and those kind of things are all going to be 16 pixels by 16 pixels. They have to be saved as a PNG. And when you scroll to the very bottom, these are the colors that you can use. So this is like your dark color. This is kind of like your in-between color. And this is your light color. This really bright green is actually your transparency color. Uh, using whatever graphic program you want to use, you just create it to that 16 by 16 pixel size. And then you can copy these values and paste them in for the hex value for your colors. That's for the image sprites. The background, again, you can go to GB Studios and find it by browsing through there, or you can search for GB Studio backgrounds. And in here, they tell you uh, the important information you need for that. Uh, our backgrounds are made by small tiles, which are eight pixels by eight pixels. And the background, once we put all those tiles together, has to be a minimum of 160 pixels by 144 uh, pixels. For the colors, it's slightly different. You still have your dark and you have your medium and you have your light, but then there's this other color because we have no transparency for the background because it's the background. Uh, we do have this kind of in between the dark and the medium color we had before. So there's those four colors for that. Um, next thing we have is you can use kind of whatever graphic program you want to use for yours. I started off making my, basically my kind of intro screen and my game over screen. And for this one, just to try something different, I used Adobe Express. You can use Adobe Express for free. There's, you also get it with your Creative Cloud. I have a subscription for Creative Cloud. Uh, which is how I use mine, but you can make this for free on there. And I just went in and I used those same colors that they said we could use on our backgrounds uh, page from GB Studio. And this is Adventures of Thor. Press start. And I made this background here is basically what it's going to be. Uh, I made it be the minimum size of a Game Boy screen, which is 160 pixels by 144 pixels. And then the game over screen, game over, same size, same colors and all that. Um, I created a folder that I called Thor Assets and that's where I'm putting all of these things into on here. Once you have your intro in your game over screen done, then we need to do our sprites. Um, just kind of following those same colors. And again, these image sprites have to be 16 by 16. This is my Thor. I have an animation of Thor walking, which is two frames uh, walking towards the right. I have an animation of Thor walking towards us, but then the third picture of Thor with both legs on the ground. And then I have an animation of Thor walking away but then a frame with Thor's both legs on the ground um, for when he's standing still, so it's not like he's standing on one foot. 
Uh, I used an online program called Piscal. Piscalapp.com is where you can make that on there. And it works really good for those sprites. Like I said, these are 16 by 16. And then when I was done, I exported it as a PNG. Uh, so if you were to open up the actual file, it's shrunk down considerably, right? Because it's the size of pixels, but it looks something like that. And that is our sprite sheet. So I did make an animation for Thor. So you'll probably want to do something similar uh, when you do this. Uh, I made a hammer for Thor. Thought that would be kind of important uh, for Thor to throw. I have this blob type enemy that's going to move around and is kind of like a like a creature made of slime. And a real simple animation for that. Uh, then I have this snake which is going to be an enemy. Uh, then I have this venom that I'm going to have the snake shoot out at us uh, once we get to that point. And then finally, I have, and all those ones I showed you before, those were all 16 by 16 pixels. In this one here, these are 8 by 8 because that's the size of the tile. I kind of made this just some basic tiles like this would be just a plain light colored floor. Here's a light colored floor tile that has some pebbles or rock kind of things on it. Here's one with some grass on it, some other kind of vines. Uh, and I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do this, but I wanted something for kind of like a rocky wall or a rocky texture for the walls. That'll be the border of my maps. Um, so here's an example of one, and also here's kind of another one that I did, and these are hopefully somewhat repeatable uh, so that you can't really tell where they start and end, and you can stack them on top of each other. I also made one frame that it was just all the dark color uh, for like a doorway, and then also I did create like if I wanted a door that had a keyhole in it. So this is kind of the top of the keyhole because this is only 8x8. Eight eight, but my door would probably be 16 pixels by 16. Uh, so then here's the other 8x8. Eight eight. And then in my tile editing program, I'll just mirror image these and I'll have the keyhole closed on there. Uh, then also on here I have another uh, darker kind of brick surface uh, that I can maybe play around with also. Uh, so with this, again, I saved that, and then I exported that as a PNG. And I called this one, I meant to, I called it tiles. Here we go. And so you'll see in here it has just all these different squares that are what I could possibly make this uh, level out of. So that should kind of be enough to get you started. You can watch my earlier tutorials where we went into this process a little bit more when making these image sprites. But for right now, I wanted to keep this one somewhat brief uh, because this is a review for some of you. And if it's not, you can at least go back and get uh, the rest of those from my first tutorial of GB Studio. Let me know if you have any questions. And in our next tutorial, we'll start using a program called Tiled to build our first level. Thanks for watching and can't wait to get this game started.